I'm gonna... Ah! Come on, YouTube. Come on. If anyone's watching YouTube, maybe they can tell me if it's working or not. It looks like it is. Hmm, there's some weird noises. All right, I'm going to assume it's working. And actually, please, can someone just have a quick look on the YouTube channel and tell me if, if it looks like it's working? It's working. Awesome. And is, is the sound working as well? Yeah, it's working. Excellent. All right. Welcome, everyone. Uh, it's been a little while. Very nice to see you all again. Um, quite a few people here. Right, let's get on with it. So um, I'm just going to run through some stills from the bat. Uh, one of the targets we're shooting is... Ooh, stop, go back. One of the tar Oh, by the way. Uh, all of you who don't know, please click on the, the screen that's here, uh, just there. Uh, there's a like streaming screen and you need to click on it, otherwise you won't be able to see what it is we're talking about. Okay, it's my stream, uh, so please do click on that. Okay, and the first thing we're having a look at is the uh, still. So this is, I think, Mr. Crazy Physicist. Did, a sh did some subs of M82, the Cigar Galaxy, which is a Starburst Galaxy, and this is in infrared. And uh, really cool, I think. We're beginning to see all that lovely infrared cloud above and below the galaxy. So a Starburst Galaxy is, um, as I understand it, uh, it's... it's uh, full of supernova they have a supernova go off every 10 years so we had a supernova go off in our galaxy i think it's the crab nebula like whenever that was 300 years ago or something uh they have one go off every 10 years and these supernova these massive explosions exploding stars apparently create shock waves that leads to more stars forming forming i don't know what but anyway there's a whole ripple of these uh um explosions going on as i say one every 10 years which is quite extreme and it creates this crazy starburst galaxy thing so uh it's great that we're getting data on this i think someone else i'm just going to whiz along because i think consti got something on this as well Whoa, i'm going through it oh i can't see consti's no you took mine already it's in the mod channel where there you go, look, it is there, hiding away. Yeah, that's that's the one. Yeah, but it's very rough still. It's out of uh, back focus is off or something. It's rubbish. It's rubbish, Consti. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but uh, I think you did quite a lot of H-alpha. There's a lovely web of H-alpha coming away from the uh, centre of the galaxy. I think when we add this up, it's going to be amazing. Uh, it's just... good for luminance. Oh, it's great. It's great. It's great. Oh, so a regular images. I think Hermit edited this one. Uh, so in the bat, we have regular images as well as high resolution images. And uh, so the regular images, I don't know how much data there was there, but I think great bit of processing, Hermit. Thank you. Andromeda is now out of range, I guess. So maybe we need to knock this target on the head. Uh, oh, we've started this new thing, which is um, master processors. Some people are amazing processors, right? Uh, this, I think, is Sagittarius. Uh, he did a lovely process on our, e on our Eagle Nebula data, right? That's the pillars of creation in there. Uh, and he's been awarded the master processor role, as has our Cactufus... Probably said that wrong. I think possibly, oh, I can't remember 100% for sure, our Catufus uh, took our back, oh, this was the first thing we, we had a look at, the Whirlpool Galaxy, back in the summer. Uh, this was before anyone shot anything. We just took a bunch of data from people uh, and see if we could uh, stack it all up. And our, I hope I got the right fella, um, our Catufus stacked this. If not, he's still become one of our one of our master processors. So we're looking for master processors. I'm going to talk more about that later. 
this is, I think, some of the data that we've got for the Boogeyman Nebula or the Bogeyman Nebula. Really interesting to see. Uh, you can't see my mouse, but sort of top left of this nebula, I can see a little bit of O3, a little bit of blue coming through. I've actually got some more O3 data to put into this. And I'm not sure if you've got my hydrogen alpha data either. Anyway, this target is very much setting. So I think we need to wrap this one up and get processing on it. Uh, and whoa, this is mostly, but not entirely, our Southern Hemispherical Bat members. Um, I know Mr. Crazy Physicist did some great stuff with this as well. Thor's helmet. I mean, come on. Amazing, isn't it? Uh, and I think this is everything I've uploaded. So well done, folks. Oh, no, there's also, um, and this is just, this is a, a in work in progress. Uh, this is um, the spider and fly nebula. You see, like, it almost looks a bit like a spider's web. And then there's this weird little tongue thing sort of heading towards... Well, let's just, it's called the spider and fly anyway. Whether you think it looks like a spider and fly, I don't know. Or some weird alien. Anyway, what's really nice about this is we're really getting the web and people haven't done that before, particularly. I mean, I'm sure someone has somewhere. Um, this is, again, not a lucky imaging target, but it's one of the last targets that we can get of H-alpha before galaxy season truly swamps us. So... Uh, I would very much encourage more people to shoot the spider and fly. And I know Pat has done quite a lot on this. I've got some more data to upload on this, actually. I haven't uploaded it yet. I'll see if I get another chance to shoot some more before uploading my subs on this one. Anyway, well done, everyone. Uh, oh, I just... Um, sorry, I think there's someone... Let's go. What? There's someone... Uh... Atomic battery to power. Turbo oh. speed. Sorry, something weird's happening. I think someone's coming. Who could it be? <laughs> I really hope you can hear the music, otherwise I am just uh, completely insane. Yes, folks, it is time to welcome... He's not a bird, he's not a plane. He is... The Batman. A.K.A. Steve, from up north. Just going to wait for it to say Batman. There we go. I hope you're all dancing. Steve, hello. How you doing? Hi. That, <laughs> that was quite entertaining, that. Yes. Well, now everyone knows your secret. Uh, we've let it out of the bag and that your real name is Steve. It is Steve, yes. That's not, fine. Not Bruce. Uh but uh, how are things going, Batman? Uh, still rather slowly, unfortunately. Um, the weather is a big hold-up for me personally. I've not been able to take any data at all. No. Um, not since December for the bat. But we are getting uh, data uploaded nonetheless. Um, some of it's very good. Yeah. It's been, it's, it, I mean, I, yeah, the, this, this year is, is the worst year ever, is it not? Can you remember, I what do you think? I think so, yes. Um, it, it just seems to be becoming worse, really. I'm forgetting how to operate my own equipment, almost. It's, it's been, apps, it's been the worst since I've been doing it, and the last few years haven't been great, but this is just astonishingly bad yeah we've been rather unlucky um but do, do you have anything to to report on the front line of the bat well from my uh point of view rory there's nothing new unfortunately um so all righty well i'm gonna kick off then because we had uh we had a whole bunch of submissions Anonymous submissions. Uh, I, I asked last week for people to say, what's wrong with the bat? Right. Um, 
I felt like I wasn't sure whether it was working. Um, and uh, I wonder if I can put them up. I guess it's okay for me to put them up. They're all anonymous, I think. I haven't actually read the last few, but... So this is... Oh, you can't see it. You can't see them. Because I put them on the wrong screen, that's why. Hold on, bear with me. Do, 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 do. So that should be on that. And this should be form submissions, right. So um, there's, you know, a lot. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. That we got so many people responding to what's wrong with the bat. Um, in essence, uh, and I haven't read the last, the very last few. Uh, I asked, I ask, um, why do you think the, the Big Amateur Telescope doesn't attract more members? And not enough publicity, I guess, is one that, that crops up. Uh, why do you think the Big Amateur Telescope doesn't hold on to the members that it has? A lot of people said, well, it kind of does. They, they don't know of people leaving, especially. Uh, I said, what else did I say? Uh, what would you do to improve Big Amateur Telescope? Right. And here's where we got quite a few thoughts. Um, people think that we've got too many targets. Now, um, I agree, essentially. We, we have, in, up until recently, had too many targets. Um, so, and, and actually, big, big picture here is... Um, big, actually, before I move on to this, I think the reason why... I think the re <laughs> I'm going to do a video. I've been threatening to do this video for ages. The weather has been so pants... I haven't been able to do my big major high resolution lucky imaging video where people from the bat join forces and produce an amazing image. We that video was happening in the autumn with M uh, uh what is it? Which one is it? M7. I got the name wrong last time, didn't I? That galaxy that's kind of like uh M7891 is it? M891. Come on, someone, you can help me. NGC 891. Thank you. That was Mr. Crazy Physicist, was it? Uh, thank you. Yes. So, couldn't shoot it. Weather two pants. We've now moved on to uh, M82, the Cigar Galaxy, the Starburst Galaxy. God knows how you guys are doing it. You're pulling in great data. I still haven't managed. Well, I did do a test of it. In terrible seeing uh, I haven't managed to do it so I can't make this blooming video and this video if it does well uh, it'll get like 250,000 people and it will all be talking about the bat and we are gonna you know a load of people will arrive so the thing is I've been worried that we're not if if loads of people arrive it, we need to have it all working properly right so this questionnaire was, uh, and I didn't think it is working properly, and maybe it will never work properly, you know, so that's something to consider. Um, I think, though, it does, it will. Uh, and I think it's pretty good, actually, but we need to change it before I release that video. And that video ain't happening anytime soon, because there's just the weather's just too terrible. Uh, but one of the things is that the big amateur telescope needs to point at something, and I need to get everyone to, or we need to get everyone to get data on it. One of the things that loads of people said was the weather's been pants and they wanted to shoot their own stuff. They haven't wanted to shoot just for the Big Amateur Telescope. You know, they wanted to shoot their own thing. And a lot of people said that maybe if there'd been better weather, they'd have shot the things they were really keen on shooting. And then they'd shoot more stuff for the bat. Um... So obviously having lots of targets isn't a good idea for the bat. We need to have a few targets and be really like, get everyone to shoot and really do great, tar produce great, great images with those targets. And that leads on to the next thing. It's we don't publicise the good images that we've got very much. Now, uh, Stefan, who isn't here, has very kindly set up was it Stefan? I think it was Stefan. He's very kindly set up the uh, Big Amos Telescope Astro Bin account, right? So we can start to get people to um, uh, see our stuff on Astro Bin. I would very much like us to cheat 
And I'd like you all to thumbs up our images on Astrobin <laughs> when they go up, right? Because uh, if you thumbs them up, then it alerts the mods on Astrobin and then we might get an image of the day, right? And if we do that, then we'll get more people joining the bat, which will be awesome. Um, so we need more publicity. That's coming. We're going to have a video. Big publicity. We need fewer targets, right? We're going to do that. We brings us on. We need to publicise our targets better. We're working on that. One of the things, one of the things that we're having real trouble with, is getting processing done of the targets. What's interesting is we have quite a few people who have got nice kit, and they just and they shoot good data, right? But they just ain't that good at processing. We need more processors. We're working on it. We are now, and I think the Batman suggested this. So well done, Steve. We need a master processor role. We need to recognise, acknowledge, and praise and thank really good processors who do really good work. And we need their help in processing our data. It takes a long time to process data. Uh, it took me a day to process the first... Um, what was it? Oh, M27 back in the day. It looks great, but it just does take ages to process. So we need to encourage people to be master processors. I am thinking of putting a shout out to everyone on the server, and I'm thinking of pushing them towards one of our bat targets and asking them to process it. And if they process it well, their reward will be uh, being assigned the role of master processor. Uh, and if you're assigned the role of master processor, it's uh, you get access to dun, 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 the biscuit tin. So um, obviously that's worth more than gold, <laughs> having access to the biscuit tin. It's not really, but it's quite nice. It's fine. It's something anyway. It's a little bit of a carrot for people. So um, if if I'm going to ask you guys which... Uh, which data set I, I should put out there to get people to to process. And we'll see who, who, who on the server is a really good processor who deserves the master processor role. And of course, when we get big and famous and these images that we take go out all over the web, uh, of course, the name of the master processor will be there associated with the image. Um, and if we can fit it in, we'll we'll put in all the people who contributed to the image certainly all that information will be like on astrobin and places like that i don't know whether we might be might not be able to fit it all in on twitter for instance but anyway so anyway oh i'm to astro steve i'm giving you a little mute because i was echoing i think it was you so um right so i've been through a few of the problems that we're having with the bat. Now there's a few other problems that we need to solve with the bat. Another one that kept cropping up was people said it was scary to upload. Okay, that's something that we can discuss. Uh, and the other thing that quite a few people mentioned, actually I can, I can go away from this, back to there, is that um, it's complicated. Uploading is complicated. I have a crazy idea, which would be amazing, about how to uh, use, simplify the uploading process. The crazy idea, really, I was hoping that Skippy is happy would be here, but he's on a hike. So Skippy and Happy is, is happy, has done some amazing work on, on the bat. He's automated the channel called Test My Scope. So I'm just going to open up that just kind of test my scope here, right? So what you do, Zaf, for instance, he uh, dropped this uh, Fitz image of Centaurus, I guess, into test my scope. And the wonderful automated process that Skippy is happy set up, let's see if this works, uh, told him, here it is, oh, you can't see it very well, but on the right there in the thread, uh, it tells Zaf what his uh, what is essentially what the resolution of his scope is, what his full width half maximum is, how blurry the stars are, 
and that particular sub had 2.3 arc seconds. Wow. Well done, Zaf. That's a good score. Uh, and we need to know this data. You need to know this data if you're, if you're into imaging because uh, it tells you how good your setup is. Um, we um, encourage people who can image at higher than three arc seconds, full width, half maximum, to try lucky imaging, right? You don't have to, but we encourage you to try it and you will also be become a high resolution imager if you can can get that can hit that three arc second, full width, half maximum, right? So anyway, Skippy is happy. Uh, before Skippy is happy, we had wonderful bat mods manually doing it. Skippy is happy made it automated. I'm thinking we could possibly take that a stage further. I, I have asked Skippy is happy to see if he can design a plugin, for instance, for um, Nina, a plugin which automatically has the bat targets on it. So rather than fiddling around trying to line up your scope and stuff, you just press a few buttons and on Nina and your telescope points to one of the back targets and you can start imaging. So I have big plans for that, but, I'm not, but unfortunately he's not here, he's on a hike as I said. So maybe we can't talk about that. But one thing that I would like to talk about is scary to upload. And actually, really, in a sense, the mission of the bat whether we've gone too broad. So, yeah, this is my Moscow Mule. Uh, it's very nice. I'm going to have a sip, uh, and then I'm going to see if anyone has anything to say. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to ask the question um, about what I've just... about improvements in the bat. Anyone, anyone want to say anything about improving the bat and what I've just talked about? Uh, I have a suggestion. Yes. Who's yeah. this? Sorry, I'm just going up uh, and down our big list of people who are in here. Uh, is it Lena Beep Space? That's Lena. Lena Beep Space. Mm. Hello, sir. Hi. Um, so I think it's mostly two things um, when it comes to um, the way the targets work. I think we have too many targets and also... Uh, the targets we have are too complicated. Like, for example, the um, spider and fly. For most people, they're only going to be able to shoot um, HA or S2. And some people don't have filters like that. Some people don't have um, good enough cameras that can... Uh, pull out stuff that's that's kind of a, a non-point um but i do think that uh more or less i think we should focus on targets that are simpler yet um data heavy like what kind of targets would you think would be good like for right now i think um the california personally um but that's very I guess wide. Is that still okay? So I'm guessing that would work for your equipment, California. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. That's and what what's I'm... the focal length of your scope? Oh, mine's. I have a really wide setup. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So our regular target is okay. Yeah. Fair. Fair point. Uh, anyone else got any suggestions? I'm not so. Is that, so the reason I'm not really straight answering what you're saying is I've got a kind of like a bigger question to do with that because um, should we like a lot of people? A lot of people here. We, we've got these two things. We've got a lot of people here aren't high resolution images. They don't have big kit, right? Um, and we do have wide field targets. I think the spider and fly, uh, if, I mean, that is a, is a, is a pretty wide field target, you know, like 400, 500 millimeters, you'd get it, uh, quite well. Um, California Nebula is a H alpha target as well as the, you know, and so is the spider and fly. Um, 
I just, uh, Californian Ember has been done... Oh, sorry, Lena. I mean, it's, it's a perfectly reasonable suggestion, to be honest. But I wonder whether the bat needs to really focus. Do we need to just focus on high-resolution imaging? Do we... Do we move... If people are too scared, if ordinary folks are a bit too scared to upload as a regular image because they feel like the bat is for supersonic images. Should we have regular images? <laughs> you know, I know a lot of people will be like, what? I'm a regular imager and I'm contributing to the bat. Should We could, though, move... We could, you know, should the bat be just for going for these extreme targets and doing it super well? Should the main server be should we have a uh, like every month have a target on the main server so it's not the bat so it's not scary that people can join in and share and produce well i mean to be honest you can produce some regular images produce amazing images as well just because we have so much data but should we just really focus on what the bat is or should we keep at the moment we are high resolution imaging and that's something that i'm you know, really interested in exploring, even though I haven't been able to do it. <laughs> uh, and yeah, the also with people who are high resolution images, they've got a good understanding of what's needed and required. And it's less hard to create systems for them to upload to because they know what they're doing. Whereas getting something that works for everybody, you know, beginners as well, is quite tricky and is quite daunting. And it's hard for beginners to cotton on to everything they need to know in order to do it. So I'm throwing that out there. Ding, ding, ding. What do we think about that? We're going to have less targets, right? Do we just have the big targets? Do we just have one regular target and one high resolution target? Do we set the bar higher even for the regular images? Anyone, anyone, come on, hit me with something. Disagree with me. I'm, I'm kind of being I, I, provocative. I actually, I actually agree. The, the entire point was to have all the telescopes point into the, the same direction with many targets you suddenly have them like a i don't know 10 20 dogs tied to each other pulling into each direction and not really getting like what you want or what you want to prove with the bat but uh it really comes together if every telescope is going into the same direction so we did start out having every telescope pointing at the same direction and the idea was that even people who didn't have very uh, high resolution setups, right, would still add to the overall. And unfortunately, what happened was basically people with DSLR cameras um, and medium sized scopes or small scopes, their data was much further away. I mean, it's obvious, really, if you've, if you've got a luminance if you've got a mono camera shooting luminance in a medium sized scope, you get three times more photons than someone with a, a one shot color or a DSLR camera because you don't have the filter. Right. So you just get straight away. You get three times more photons. And then it became fairly clear that if you took all the data, including the data that wasn't so good, you know, like the RGB data from a medium scope, it wasn't it wasn't really making hardly any difference to the overall picture you know and it takes ages to process so it's actually much much quicker just taking the good data and you get you know basically the same result so unfortunately the dream of everyone with small medium and big telescopes all pointing at the same target unfortunately that kind of died uh, and then we split up. We split up into high resolution and regular and wide field. So we some, from one target, we went to three, right? 
Um, and then we added southern hemispherical targets as well. Uh, and we haven't had a big take up, a big, big take up on the, I tried to make it so people would own their targets so they'd be invested in them. That isn't really works. So if we're going to just have a few targets and if the small telescopes with DSLR cameras don't uh, particularly add to what like the guys with the 10, 12 inch telescopes are doing, well, they don't, then should we have the smaller the smaller guy should should the should if we're going to have do you see what I mean if we're going to have less targets should we just narrow down our our base as well go on Consti, what you oh go on alex yeah sorry uh, i think less targets do make sense hmm. maybe one target for the high resolution images or maybe two and uh, the same for the regular images. Okay, so I think that also, I'm guessing a lot of the wonderful bat mods are regular images as well. So, and and also a lot of uh, a lot of regular images, people are on the bat are really good. At, um, like Skippy is happy, for instance. He's not the first person who's done really cool stuff with computers that are really helping us out. Uh, so, you know, it's, it, okay, let me put it another way. If at the moment we don't have that many regular targets, do we? But we're still not getting that many regular images uploading. So how do we, perhaps we need to overcome the, um, it's too scary to upload thing. How do we, how do we get more regular images people who don't have big fancy scopes uploaded i mean it, it's it's still really good what regular images are able to achieve and let's just uh, if i can get <laughs> what? <laughs> what did i say no <laughs> it just felt so addressed with regular images <laughs> so I'm not sure how many people have shot Andromeda. Not that many, I don't think. But you can see the potential for... And this was a beginner's target, right? You can see how much better this is than what a beginner would do by themselves. Hmm. Um, I mean, to be honest, these are the, this is a regular target, in all honesty. It's amazing. So we can do... Ama regular images can do amazing things. Is Thor's helmet, was this a regular target? It did have I don't some think of the. We did lucky imaging, did we? I think it's a regular-ish target. Maybe I'm. It would depend yeah. on the scale a bit. Yeah, well, it was I mean, a regular the, target. The data is mostly from. Uh, who was it, Mr. Crazy Physicist? Mm. I think most of it is your data, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's shot with the C14 hyperstar from 54 degrees north. So actually, the worst position on Earth that you can capture data like that. But the combination uh, with Space Cadets data yeah. from Australia was really amazing because he added really, really the resolution. So perhaps we should also work in that direction to incorporate also for these targets the southern hemisphere a little bit more. So yes, and we should get um, we we should we should definitely do that. I think uh, Space Cadet did very well. We should get Zaf shooting it uh, and other. But see, so here's 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 the thing, right? What's the point in doing all this stuff with all these channels if we're only having four or five people uploading data? Um, uh, should we just make this? I know everyone's going to hate this idea, and please come back at me, but should we make it more exclusive and have some of what the bat does happen on the main channel for everyone, like the Tesmoscope and helping people sort out their collimation and all that stuff? I think we simply have to motivate the guys to upload stuff. So in the Variable Nebula channel, I have a lot of new contributors who were afraid that their data was actually crappy and that I motivated them to upload something and the data is really usable. 
So perhaps we should use a route like that. Just to encourage people to do it more. Right. Uh, okay. Let's do I mean, that then. I mean, uh, another suggestion is um, with, with the regular people <laughs> like myself, um, would it be better to actually have a monthly target for just for regular users so they all have a go at that particular target? And, and then see what the results are at the end of each month and, and and sort of like get somebody to process it and then show what can be done rather than us having lots of different targets. For the regular ones, just have one target per month and, and just shoot that. Yes. <laughs> I think you made a very good point. It's life, Jim. It's, yeah. It's, uh, I, and I actually, I, I had a a thought that maybe we should combine it with the um, with the competition, right? So every month, uh, your standard nerd is your standard nerd here. He's in New Zealand, so it might be a bit early for him. Uh, are your standard nerd and Steph, Stefan, who's got a birthday party tonight to go to, on a Saturday night, I know, who'd have thought it? Uh, they they set a competition target, right? And I wonder if they say, and you can upload it, as you know, if you want, you can upload your data to be part of the, you know, the regular bat target as well. And then we can do just like you said, it's live, Jim. And that would be, you know, get some, one of our, hopefully we're going to encourage more master processes to come, to come through. I think we probably need about three or four more, to be honest. Um, and they can they can uh, process it and come out with an amazing result at the end of it. it would be amazing. What do what do we think about that? I mean, I think I think the thing is, it, it's it's also it's encouraging people like myself to you know um, be regular um, users or regular targets. But you know that it could inspire us to then you know I don't know spend more money. Uh, get get a better rig and and you know actually become you know high resolution people. I, I just a bit concerned that you know just might discourage a lot of people to sort of turn away from the back completely. Alrighty, I hear you, and that is I mean that is one of the you know that is certainly one of the dreams uh, of the bat at the beginning and why we welcomed anyone who'd shot taken a shot of space in was that idea of uh encouraging and building up so it's good it's good that you think that and i who who agrees with jim or oh, it's life jim i don't know if your name is jim uh i do too yeah i'm happy with that as well uh, that sounds good to me all righty yep, so we'll go for one target a month, regular images. It will be the same as the, uh, well, I'll have to talk to Stefan about it. We'll try and make it the same as the competition target. Uh, it will probably be a Northern Hem, I don't know, actually, it might not be a Northern Hemisphere target. Do the competition guys, do they do two targets, do you know? They yes, do, one for they? the Southern and one for the Northern Hemisphere. I thought so, perfect. So I think if every, if people are in agreement, we're going to regular images, we'll, we're going to follow the competition guys. Yeah. Yeah. Idea. Okay. And then we, some, then mm. we need to make a nice link between the competition channels and the bat. There needs to be a nice bridge between the bat and the competition channels. Uh, so that, um, you know, maybe we call, maybe we have a channel called Target of the Month or something. Um, and yeah, so someone, did, you know, rather than all our lots of complicated uh, channels that we've got, um, maybe because because it once someone did suggest actually having a, a channel called Variable Nebula. Now some of you won't be able to see the Variable Nebula channel. I'll just mention this while I'm here because. The Variable Nebula channel, and we might need to change this, it opens up when you press 
uh, when you press, can you see in, in the instructions there's this button, this variable nebula button, and that's, that makes you a variable nebula imager uh, and it opens up the variable nebula channel, right? Um, it's something that I, I'm, it, it may be we want to make the channel visible to everyone, to be honest. But anyway, it's a, it's a device, these buttons, for, so that you don't have so many millions of channels. But maybe if we had a channel called Target of the Month for regular images, and then we save the high resolution targets for the high resolution images, and we can, you know, I think that's a, it, the high resolution images, if you like, can handle more. Um, they've generally they've been here a bit longer, and they can find their way around a bit more easily. Um, but uh, yeah, something like that. I don't know. Anyone else want to comment? Yeah, Rory. Uh, high resolution might be better to uh, to discuss this in the bed meetings. So, which target we are going to use? So yeah. it's like a, a premium target or something like that. Yeah. So it's a good idea to discuss the target in the bat meeting. Choose the next one, sort of thing. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. All right. What do you think, Batman? What, so I'll just lay out how, what we're going to do to the bat, what we're thinking of doing. Uh, we are going to simplify regular images to being whatever the competition images are. We're going to ask the competition guys to encourage people who submit competition images to also submit their data to the bat. We're going to try and make it easy for them to upload their data. Um... What else? I'm going to push those targets. Just be two targets a month. We'll push them for a month. Also, when we have bat meetings, we'll choose the next high resolution targets. We're going to encourage as many um, as many uh, master processors to process our images. We're going to get them on Astrobin. We're going to get them on Instagram and Twitter and everywhere else. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna highlight the people who have contributed a lot to making those those images great, so that everyone can see it. Um, and hopefully, oh. yes. Who's that? Uh, Ooh, how do you actually become a master processor at this stage? How do you become a master processor? You show off your yes. processing skills. So I am going to soon. Right, let's uh, 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 hold on one second, Ulrich. I'm going to answer that question in a second. Just want to hear from the Batman as to what he thinks of this as a sort of plan moving forward. Calling the Batman. I think we ought to tr trial that, uh, Rory, then for a while. Yeah. Yeah. And. Mm, I, what do we what do we think okay let's do that and maybe wouldn't it be wonderful and they so the other thing I wanted to talk about is making uploading easier um I'll talk about that a bit in a minute actually um so so okay we'll talk to Stefan about it we'll talk about your standard nerd about it and we'll get regular images in sync with the competition um I think. All right, Ulrich. Thank you, thank you, Steve. Ulrich, uh, how do you become a master processor? Well, firstly, you need to be a great processor. You need to show off your processing skills. Um, so our Katu first and Sagittarius have, and a few others. Sagittarius is here, actually. And uh, But also, I am going to uh, post a link to what to the data from one of our targets uh you can find this tar with the target we're about to choose the target and uh, and you can process it and show us and if your process is good enough you'll become a master processor it really is you really it really is a kind of like uh it's all down to how good a you know to be a, you 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 got to be a master processor to become a master processor 
kind of thing. So, um, I I guess the next the question I'm putting out there, particularly to the back mods, is or people who know what data we've got is which target should we ask? Should I throw out there to everyone on the server to to uh, process? It's sort of like and, a comp uh, mm, sorry, Ulrich, where do you upload our uh, uh, results? Yeah, well, I haven't sorted that out yet, but I maybe. Um, Maybe we'll make a. Maybe we'll make a channel. If I made, if I made a channel on the main server, called something like Master Processor Competition, right? Uh, would you be happy posting your results there for everyone to see, or would you prefer to have post your results somewhere where just. Uh, kind of like the uh, me and a few other bat mods see it. What what would you prefer? Well, I personally don't don't have uh, any problem with uploading uh, results for everyone to see. Okay, well then I think we'll uh, do do that then. Well, most of us usually upload uh, images to Facebook and uh, other social media, so uh, most of us shouldn't have any problems with uh, uploading it to the public channel. All right, awesome. I to see. So I'm going to do an at everyone, and I'm going to say, hey guys, we're looking for master processors to become one. Please process the image, please process the data from this bat target, right, and I'll put a link there, and put your results in, and I'll make a channel and link to it called Master Processor Competition. And that channel will be in the, I think, have we got a section for competitions? <laughs> I'm not being very... Uh, I'm just checking now. Yes, it will be in the competitions and challenges section, right? Uh, so the next question is, which target should we ask people to process? Anyone got any suggestions? Should we do M82? Do we have enough data on that yet? Or should we do a target from the past? Let's have a look at some of our targets from the past. Uh, that gallery. Should we do one of these? Anyone? Anyone got any ideas? Do we have? Do, is there a target that we've got quite a lot of data for at the moment, or are we pretty sparse on all the targets? M eighty two might actually work. M eighty two. Maybe pillars of creation. Pillars of creation, Lena says, and and Alex, do you you so Alex just as, just for the just so as you guys don't, if you don't know, Alex is one of our long term bat mods, and he's one of the the bat mods who oversees the upload and download folders. So Alex, what were you saying? M eighty two, did you think? M eighty two, we do have quite a lot of data, yeah. Alrighty. So that's something that could be processed already. And that would be yeah. really interesting. On high resolution data for M82, taken with a 20 inch scope, I think. Yeah, that's true. So you can really see details. So, no lucky imaging yet because the jet stream is yeah. quite crappy. But yeah. yeah, there's high resolution data for that. So, that would be a real, and I think it's really interesting as well because I suspect our M82 is going to look a bit different to everyone else's. And uh, it'll be a real, te real test for them, I think. Yeah, I All right, agree. great, good. So I think you know this has been a great meeting. I know I've been waffling on a lot, but uh, fewer targets was one of the problems we're solving. That scary to upload. One of the problems we're solving that by making it integrating it with the competition. Um. Making uploading simpler, we'll have to look at that probably another time, or I might waffle on about it now, although it's getting quite late. Um, we need results and we need to see results. Well, we're making, in order to, for that to happen, we need a few more master processors and we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna fish for more master processors. Excellent. Alrighty, I think, I mean, I think that's very good. And uh, we just need to start making that happen. And uh, I'm sure we will get all these changes done before I put out my big video. 
um, and hopefully it, this will be a really great place for people to land and and then and it'll really start taking off then um, I, just one thing though we've got this we've got this test my scope channel which is awesome should that be on the main server would it be interesting for people on the main server to see it, to use it? I think it should be. Yeah. And also... I mean, if... everyone can can get something out of it, right? Yeah, and also it's good because we could possibly be fishing for those folks who have got really high resolution scopes as well using that because it tells us what the, you know, if, if they... If they become a, if they achieve more than three arc second full width half maximum, then um, they become a high resolution imager. Now I know some of you might be thinking this sounds elitist, me trying to get high resolution images. But the problem that we're facing, and I know Mr. Crazy Physicist will agree with me, is in order for lucky imaging to work, we need like a hundred people lucky imaging, right? When the, that's the ultimate goal of the bat. We use everyone's data to make an image, including lucky imaging data. And for the lucky imaging data to um, show us the detail that we know it can achieve, we need a lot of it. You throw away 90% of your frames, right, when you lucky image, and every frame is only one second long. So for the bat to really shine, Yes, we do need regular images data as well to help bring out all the faint nebulosity. But we get it like the real mountain is getting enough people lucky imaging. Um, that's the real massive mountain long term goal. Uh, OK, so I'm ready to sign out. Does anyone want to say anything before I do? Next time, maybe we can talk about how to make uploading simpler. Hi. Uh, I have kind of a, an off-topic thing, but um, I've been working uh, with Hermit for probably about two months yeah. on the on the witch head, and we don't have anybody to process that. Um, so if anybody could process that, um, I know the project kind of went under the radar. We didn't get that much for it, um, but just to get it out of the out of the target list and. Mm, excuse me have it processed awesome yes let's work on that i think the first thing mm. we can do is pop it in the um so there's a channel called uh uh actually let me just get the name right there's a channel in the main server called come on share your data so the first thing we can do is link to that channel and see if someone will will uh Actually, that's the second thing we can do is is link the data, the 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 link the put a link to the of the <laughs> put the link of that data to download that data there. I think actually the first thing to do is put a shout out to bat bat members to see if anyone will will uh, uh, process that, and we could do that right now to be honest. Um, yeah. Excellent. Anyone else? I apologise for my croakiness, but um, anyone yeah. who's actually got um, spider data ready to upload, I've been waiting for other data on that for quite some time. Yes. I know, I know you have some. I have some. Um, I'm going to try and get some more S2 on Monday, but it's... I'm, st I'm still and hoping I to get a little bit more if I can, to be honest, Pam. And I was going to upload in one big chunk rather than, you know, rather than three lots of H alpha and O3. I was just going to I do... tend to prefer it like that, actually. What, lots of different bits? Yeah, then I can throw away the ones I don't like. Oh, that's harsh. Okay. It'll all be amazing. Hey, I throw, I've thrown away a whole night of my own, so... Yeah, okay. All righty, um... Well, I'll, I'll get going to that. I think the one that everyone, if I think really big push on uh, the boogeyman or the bogeyman, uh, because that is is really properly setting now. Um, and uh, yeah, 
we should we should we should get that one going so i was just looking to see if the boogeyman was in this lot but it isn't uh so yeah so definitely we need to get the boogeyman uploaded and pam and and i and we should also upload spider and fly although there's a there's still a couple more it's still good for a few more weeks i think in terms of gathering data that one uh all righty and what and pam have you not had the dreaded corona have you it's not your is that why you're croaky? Ah, Sorry, just... I am tested negative so far, but I think I might have an old fashioned cold, I think. Okay. Yeah, alrighty. Okay, I think that just about wraps it up. Any more for any more? No? Alright, thank you very much everyone. And uh I'm guessing we'll have another bat meeting. I'm I think doing it every week is a bit too much. Um, certainly we're going to have one every month, um, but there might be another one sooner just to try and sort, to, to try and nail how to improve the bat. All right. Thanks all. Take care and good night. Yes, guys. Cheers, good Alex. Good night. Night. Oh, Steve, is, oh, if anyone night. wants to, oh, Steve, do you mind hanging around here a bit in case anyone has any questions, but they were a bit too overawed to ask? Uh, with so many people in here, just it might be yeah, that one. Yeah, that's fine. I'll what? be hanging around for a while. Awesome, thanks, mate. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cheers, everyone. Take care. God bless. Bye bye. Yes, good night. Good night. Bye.